got liberty. All right, so it looks like, you know, of course, Ron Paul announced, which if you don't know that, you must have been living under a rock. Um, I believe it was, yeah, Friday. He had like eight or nine interviews uh, with, with this cocksucker, Stephanopoulos. Um, I don't like him, okay? In fact, while I'm on the topic, uh, in this video, George Stephanopoulos attempts to make Ron Paul look stupid. Um, but actually, he fails miserably. And in point of fact, that's one of the things I was really glad about. They didn't give Ron Paul any time to discuss, really, the issues of today. Um, instead, the mainstream media launched an assault on uh, what Ron Paul would do with FEMA. Yeah, that was the apparently the burning issue of the day because it was brought up several times uh, about FEMA and... By the end of the day, I had a firm understanding of why Ron Paul wanted to get rid of FEMA, and I was behind him 100%. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. It, like, it backfired on the fucks. So just remember, though, these are the same people who, have, who promote economic and you know, foreign policy intervention. Uh, and why do they promote those things? Because, oh, they want to stop bad things from happening. They want to stop chaos in the Middle East. And, oh, they want to stop booms and busts in the economy. Well, we intervene, and guess what happens? We get those very same things. Fail. So, yeah, he had several interviews. It was a really good day. Um, and it was fascinating to me because you kind of get the sense that <sighs> there's just not, there's not a lot of other names out there. I mean, like, let me give you an example. Like, Huckabee's supposed to have all this support, but I, or Romney even. The thing is, I don't know that anyone actually really cares for those guys all that much. It's not passionate. And that's what Ron Paul and, yes, Barack Obama have. They do have passionate following. And I don't know of any other Republican that has that. Herman Cain, I believe, is going to fade out soon uh, once people understand his true philosophy. Um, he's, you know, he, he's a bailout artist, so he's not going to change anything. Um, and also, I think we could have... You know, Geithner didn't. He didn't. Geithner today did not warn uh, Congress. He threatened Congress. And I'm going to scroll down here at Drudge. Just ignore the IMF head being arrested in a sex rap. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. But it says right here, uh, Geithner expects double dip recession if debt ceiling isn't raised. See now, to me, that Geithner is Illuminati, and that is a threat from the Illuminati. That if you don't raise that debt ceiling up, we're going to do it. Um, now, that could be paranoia. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, I just don't trust these fucks anymore. Any of these interventionists, I just do not trust them. I don't trust anything that they do or say. And that goes for President Bush. That goes for President Obama. That goes for Dick Cheney. That goes for Donald Rumsfeld. That goes for any of these fucks. I don't trust them, and I never will trust them, ever. Um... And I suppose that's probably why I, I adhere so much to Ron Paul's uh, beliefs and principles because what that's what they allow you to do. They allow you to focus on what matters. You put a guy like Ron Paul in office who actually wants to weaken the federal government and the very presidency that he's seeking. Well, then you know he's not a he's not a um, ambitious, egotistical monster, and that's what we've had, and that's what we currently have as a president. Um, and until we neuter, so to speak, um, the presidency, this is going to gonna continue to be a problem. And that's why his, his movement is so important. As I've said before, it's not, it's not about whether Ron Paul wins. I, you know, that's not, I'm not there yet. Okay? If he starts winning some you know, elections, then that's one thing. But at this point... It doesn't matter if he wins. What matters is if he converts. As more people start to listen to him, he also has a tremendous potential to shake the parties up. He has a serious potential to reshape the GOP if they don't kick his ass out. Um, Democrats could start joining the GOP just to vote for him. And it, this is where it gets really interesting. The truth is, the neoconservative Republicans would rather vote for Barack Obama than Ron Paul. That's why they hate him so much. They hate Ron Paul more than they do Barack Obama. And they may not even understand that, but they do. And so that's where we're at right now. And it's going to get interesting. Good luck.